Hey guys, it's Benson Makeup by Red and Red, and if you want to see my updated skincare video on how to winterize your fall and winter skincare routine, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. This one's a little different. I decided to do this video because it was helpful for me. And basically the video is gonna be about how to winterize your skincare routine. I personally have very dry, sensitive skin, so um, dryness and needing moisture is a normal thing for me. But now that it's winter, I need a little bit more. And I know a lot of people are probably starting to notice that their skin's feeling tight and dry. And you need to know how to transition your skincare from summer into fall into winter. So some of the tips today will be what I do to avoid dry, flaky skin and how to keep your skin feeling really good even in the cold weather. So what I'm going to do is talk about a variety of different products and tips that really help me. So I'm just going to start from like the top of the, my routine to the end and um, show you what works for me. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, um, one of the most important things about um, about your skin, especially year round, but especially into the winter months, is exfoliating. And a lot of people don't think to exfoliate all the time. Um, it might seem like an optional thing, but I notice that when your skin's dry and flaky, even trying to put more moisturizer on top, it's not going to make your skin feel um, it's not going to make it feel softer or more moisturized. It's just going to be like putting stuff on top of top of dry skin. So to make your skin really soft and fresh, just it's really important to exfoliate and especially um, a good exfoliator that has moisturizing properties. And I am absolutely in love with this one, which is going to be making my favorites for the month. And it's the um, Holly B Organics Grits and Honey face scrub and I actually got this at a blogger event a couple of weeks ago the honey the honey blogger event I went to and it's a really awesome product I wasn't sure how I was going to like it at first but basically it's two main ingredients are honey and grits and it makes a huge difference with my skin because I exfoliate all exfoliate away all the dead skin I, and then I feel like my skin feels smoother and it also feels moisturized because of the honey which is a nat natural humectant. So this has made a huge difference. Uh, my skin feels smooth and great and this is the Holly Bee Organics Grit and Honey Scrub and most of her products are certified USDA organic which is also really great. So um, one of the first things to do with your new winterized skincare routine is to make sure to exfoliate with a um, exfoliator that has moisturizing properties. Now when you do cleanse your skin, um, it's also a good idea to think about doing a cleanser that is also more moisturizing. And um, I know that a lot of cleansers sometimes are great because they really get everything out but they can be drying. I love more cream based cleansers that it feels like you're almost like moisturizing and cleansing at the same time. This is the Jerlique Rose Moisture Plus Moisturizing Cleanser. I'm pretty much out of it, but it's really great. Um, I also really like Aveeno. They have some great um, cleansers. Um, even maybe looking at um, cleansing oils. I know I, I have one by MAC. That's another popular thing. So think about instead of going to a very stripping cleanser, more of a moisturizing cleanser. So then once you've um, cleansed your face, exfoliate, I, by the way, exfoliate just twice a week so I don't overdo it. Um, one thing that I found has really, really helped to help moisture absorb into my face through products a lot better is if I use some kind of moisturizing spray before I put on like my moisturizer. And I have some really popular ones right here. One is the MAC Fix Plus. This is a mini size. Um, I also love the MAC Charged Water, and it's great to just spritz your face before you apply moisturizer. A lot of people do that. It really, really helps it sink in a lot better. And I also keep 
a bottle of MAC charged water at my desk at work. When I'm feeling kind of dry, I'll just spritz it on and I'll instantly feel refreshed. Um, another one, and this is like a sample one, same thing from Holly B Organics. I got that blogger event. It's a witch hazel toner, and I, I actually use this in the morning before I put my um, moisturizer and all that jazz. So the next step that I do, and this is year round, but maybe something for you guys to consider if you don't do it already is using a skin serum. And a serum is different than a moisturizer. It goes before the moisturizer and it really sinks in all the good vitamins and moisture and it's very like, it just, it doesn't leave like a, a kind of film. It just sinks right in and it's really good at nourishing the skin, especially if for um, as you get older, and I cannot go without a serum, um, and you guys know I've mentioned it many times, I can't not go out without a serum before my moisturizer or else my skin feels, it already feels dry, and I've gone through a couple ones that I like, one that I really like is the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Emulsion with Vitamin C, right here. I also featured one of my last favorites video by um, Ole Henriksen, which is really good, um, so after I cleanse, exfoliate, spray, um, I'll do a um, serum, and I do that year round. Another thing that I do year round is applying an eye cream. This is the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. Keep everything nice and moisturized, especially the eye area, which is very sensitive. Um, and then, really, the last step that I do is um, a moisturizer, and um, I think it's a great idea to switch to a heavier moisturizer. A classic one is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. It's great for sensitive skin. You can get it at your drugstore. You get this big tub, which will last you forever, um, and it's a cream. So instead of like you know like a liquid pump, it's a little bit more intense. Um, another option which I found has helped me immensely is actually um, taking some kind of um, an oil and adding it to your moisturizer. This is the Face and Neck Elixir from um, Holly B Organics again. And what I'll do is I'll take um, like two pumps and I'll mix it in with my moisturizer in my hand and then apply. And then it's just way more intense and great. Um, I also love the Tarte Cosmetics Maracuja Oil which you saw featured in my Tarte Cosmetics Holiday Haul. So like I said, um, I just mix it in with my moisturizer just to make it a little more intense. And it just goes on really smooth. And I do the same thing with my body lotion. Like I just use my, I use like the Cocoa Butter Body Lotion and I'll mix in like a body oil. And not only does it smell really good, it also makes it sink in better and just feels more moisturizing. So I've noticed that by doing some of these tips, my skin has felt awesome, like I don't have tightness, dryness, flakiness like I might usually have, so this really works well for me. Feel free to take any or all of the tips um, and see what works for you. And then I'm going to end it with a giveaway, which, and this is actually also another tip um, for winterizing your skincare routine. So when you feel like you need a boost, definitely look to face masks. And these are the kind of face masks that are like the sheet masks that come in like one per package and then you put it on your face and you just let it sit there and it's like a cotton sheet with holes for your eyes and mouth with a really good wet um, moisturizing goodies all in it and you just sit it in for 20 minutes. Just chill and relax and then rub it in. And I know I've been using face masks for a really long time. I first got into it with like the whole Asian blogging circuit. They're really popular. And then um, I got a chance to um, review this Canadian brand called Masquerade. They have the cutest mask. This is just four of the six. But there's one called um, Detox Diva Cleanse Exfoliate and Detoxify Mask. One called Pre-Party Prep, which is Brighten, Prime, and Energize. This one's All Nighter, which is Awake, Replenish, and Refresh. I Don't Want to Grow Up, which is Lift, Firm, and Soft, and Fine Lines. And then I used two of them, which I don't have with me, but I already reviewed it on my blog. 
So um, the company Masquerade mentioned that I can do a giveaway. I can actually give two complete sets of the six face masks. So um, I actually really do think this is a good way to also moisturize your skin. I use it like once a week or once every two weeks, um, just as a treat almost. And like I said, it really kind of is just an extra moisture boost that I'll do like on a weekend when, or on an evening. So you'll get a set of the six face masks. All you have to do is be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And this is open up internationally. Leave a comment below telling me why you want to win a set. Also, you can win a set on my blog at makeitbyrenrun.com. Make sure you follow my blog and then leave a comment on the blog post link to this video and that will be in the description box below so thank you to masquerade for donating um these prizes um and everything will be on makeup by redren.com same tips pictures and all that good stuff so until next time i hope you guys have a great night ciao bellas